to make the stringers for between the frames I've ripped some pieces inch and a half wide and this is that uh, 3 16 door skin material I have some two by old crappy old salvage two by fours that I've ripped down they're just you can see the ends busted because they've got some knots and things so I've been ripping these down little sticks like this okay and then I just chop these off at I've got a little mark there two inches and those become my little reinforcement for laying these up I need to trim all these to 46 or 46 and a half just a little bit shy so they'll fit inside of my my jig here right now they're a little little too long so I got my chop saw over there I'm gonna go chop them off what I've got here is a sheet of polypropylene that I salvaged so I've got my four little blocks that I sawed up I've got my glue gun heating up so I've got one strip up against the edge of, or clamped to the edge of my table throw another clamp on here just to I'll hold it down and hold it straight. So I'll run, I'll stick my little blocks on here. One close to the end, one up there, one up there, one up there. Doesn't really matter, they're just to hold it up square. DeWalt glue gun, uh, pretty nice, pretty stable when you set it down. Much more stable than my little craftsman. One, two, three block. about 40 degrees out here today so I don't want to leave my glue set too long to get it going here. Those are just my little machinists one two three blocks just to make sure I got the part flush up against there. And the nice thing about this is if I stick something down there, oh, let's stick that on there. Um, polypropylene is what glue bottles are made out of. So really, nothing sticks to it. <laughs> the hot glue will, will come right off of there while it's warm or after it's cold. You can take the little putty knife here and take a little putty knife and scrape it off. No problem. Now I run a bead. I'm going to start at this end and throw a little bead right in there and push this up on here and put a clamp on it. These are just little cheapy squeeze clamps that I got. So it, it gives me enough flex that I can start back here, run the bead down some on the back of the block and put another clamp on it. off there's your bean now it's a little twisty right now this way but it's uh, very lightweight and very strong for bowing this way and very strong this way so that'll be a nice rigid member that's really really lightweight so I'll get all these glued up and then we'll uh, come back and show you how to put it together. Because I'm not a very trusting guy of just glue only joints, um, we're going to uh, put some staples in here. There it went.
That's better. There we go. Okay. I'll staple all those and uh, be back in a minute. If you look at the end plate, we've got a two inch set here. This is the top of the module. So that's going to go down on the table and run that up flush. Now what I've been doing is I pull this just snug with a little clamp so that I make sure that I'm up against my blocks. And I'm, I've got the machinist blocks underneath there to make sure I'm square to the table. frame rails, stretchers, struts, whatever. All right, and here's the way I like to do it is this is the girder lengthways standing vertical with a deck on top of it. Okay, because most of my pressure is going to be downward. This sets the overall length of the um the module for the end plates but then it becomes like open bench work so what I'll do right now is I get get this lined up flush on the outside I'm gonna throw down some hot glue on this end and just tack it with in place with a couple of my little staples leave the, this in free and squirt some glue under there and tack that in down. All right, and same thing here. Okay, just make sure it's flat. Outside the edge, tack it in place. That's good enough. Now we do the other side. Hissing noise. The air hose down there. Oh. Oh. A couple of couple of old staples. And there is the frame for one module. So this would be the top. Alright. So now your track, your road bed, it's a single track. It's gonna be a yard. So what I will do is figure out where my switches and yard ladder and all that sort of stuff is. A right angle stretcher like this, could be a little one, and put a riser up. And then put my deck on top of that. If you were going to use the foam, you could put a piece of foam across there. I would cut a couple of, use some scrap pieces of the, your three quarter plywood that you're using for your end plates and either cut a couple little ribs all the way across and then you can use the foam safe glue and stick down your foam. Put the other uh, subframe together and uh, we'll show you how it looks once I get ready for the fascia because that'll be the next thing for this guy. 